We get ready for high school basketball. The fans are fired up, and we'll take a look at the number one high school center in the country right there, Josh Smith. He'll go up against Terrence Jones. High school hoops coming your way. It's Jefferson High and Kentwood here in Covington, Washington. Welcome into the Old Spice High School Showcase presented by the United States Marine Corps. We're at Kentwood High School in Covington, Washington, and our matchup tonight, Jefferson High taking on Kentwood. All right, Star Watch time now, and Terrence Jones, as we mentioned, still has not picked a college yet. You now, T. Jones is, is long and athletic and rangy. I saw him play last summer and tonight. You'll swear you're watching a young Lamar Odom in action, so versatile. And Josh Smith for Kentwood has got that old school approach. 100% power basketball in the paint. And that's exactly what Ben Howland and the UCLA Bruins will get next year. All right, our Nike starting lineups, Antoine Hosley, BJ Jones, Terrence Jones, Stephen Madison, Bears watching good shooter, and Noah Kone. Meanwhile, for Kentwood, It'll be Mikkel Everett, Alec Wilson, Trey Tyler, Jason Boyce, and Josh Smith. Kentwood wins the tip, and we are underway here in Covington, Washington. And now Terrence Jones, high arcing shot, buries a three. Well, if there's one part of his game that some people say, I want to see it more and more, it's the three-point shot, and he drills his first as Madison blocks that shot. Look out, Showtime Jones throws it down. Hey, did he almost hit his head on the rim? I believe so. You know, one of America's best athlete, athletes, and there, there's a high D1 coach here that, that made the comment that Terrence Jones is the best player in all of high school basketball because of his versatility and says that, that he'll play all the perimeter positions one through four next year. And Terrence Jones with throwdown. Josh Smith, another block. That is his second. Jones working down low this time. Draws a foul and he'll go to the line. During it, it's Portland and Gonzaga Thursday night showcase presented by T. Rowe Price. You know, when, when we talk about Terrence Jones long term, the thing that I like so much are his pro style skills. And Harrison Barnes has the same kind of set. You get used to, to a rebounder like Dennis Rodman grabbing every single rebound that everybody kind of assumes that Josh Smith is going to grab. You've got to have five rebounders. Oh, Terrence Jones. The follow and the flush. And there's Jones stepping in, the steal. Feet underneath and the bucket. Pretty good idea of the full court demeanor that they have. Watch, no check out. Terrence Jones attacking the rim. And then also, notice the delivery. He looks away, puts a little razzle-dazzle on the pass, and, and that's what really separates him from a lot of other guys. You know, when Terrence Jones was a freshman, he was a 6'3 point guard. Then as a sophomore, he became a 6'5 wing, 6'7 power forward as a junior. At 6'9 now, he'll do whatever you need. Where do you see him, though, in the college game most frequently? Well, I think I think he's going to be a small forward, but it depends on where he goes because in crunch time situations, he can play the point. Coach Strickland said that he is the best player on this Jefferson team at every single position. Getting his teammates involved and hitting the boards hard and doing stuff like that. Head to head, Terrence Jones from Jefferson showing off. Yeah, he's got seven points early, and and I think he's like the Swiss Army knife of high school basketball. He's got all the tools that you could possibly ever need, and and I bet right there he's got the corkscrew if you needed it. <laughs> I was gonna make you know. Yeah, for sure. So Smith trying to get Jones to join him. 
And a nice move there by the lefty up and under. You likened him to Lamar Odom as we open the broadcast. King by four in the top five undeclared recruits out there. Still have Brandon Knight, Josh Selby, but Terrence Jones, the 13th rated player in our ESPNU 100 and one of the top small forwards in all of the line. Point blank, couldn't get it to go and he goes tumbling to the deck and numbers for Jefferson Jones. Oh, nice move. So 13 now for Terrence Jones. A turnover. Make it 15. He heard about Terrence Jones' versatility and he has shown it off. There's a steal. Look at Stacy Hoffman on the break, on the foul. They get Everett on that last foul. Let's take another look. Well, how do you cover him? And, and his coach said earlier today, Pat Strickland, that, that when teams do a really good job against Terrence Jones, he still gets over 20 points. You know, because you can load up two and three defenders, but he's going to get five or six points on the break. He's going to get a few free throws, get a dunk. You can't stop it. some amazing plays in the first half. Sit back and enjoy the work of one of the most versatile players. He does it all, off the dribble, phenomenal. He's able to get to the lane and create for himself. He also shared the ball very well, and oh yeah, he can play above the rim. Man, Jones able to hang and draw the foul. Up the foul, that is his third, and that is big right there. Uh, I was a bit curious about who Terrence Jones patterns himself after and said that he's a big Carmelo Anthony fan because he scores all over the court. He's a tough cover, and I think he's a very good basketball role model. It's the big issue for Smith. How is he going to do next year playing in the Pac-10 against guys his own size? I love the adjustment by Coach Angelitis. They're going zone, and it's really making it a much less athletic game. Smith blocks Jones, his fifth block. Jones again rolls it home. That is some kind of shot by Smith doing a good job down low. Smith whacking that one away, guarding the goal, and we are tied at 28. Locked up in this one, and time for our ESPNRise.com player profile. Terrence Jones, last year's Oregon 5A Player of the Year, trying to do it back-to-back. -back. We mentioned big Carmelo Anthony fan and also plays football. Power forward, nice athlete himself, 6'4", can shoot it, put the ball on the floor a few times. A takeaway, Terrence Jones. Behind the back, Jones, feet underneath, great look. He can do it all, put it on the floor. Washington, and we're tied at 32. Terrence Jones showing off, giving his teammates a little lift. The kick out now. On oh, a rebound underneath, Terrence Jones grabs a rebound, gets fouled. Just put some time back on the clock. Now it's 8.3. And they foul Terrence Jones. And get a two or a three, depending on what you need. And they're going to want to freeze Terrence Jones at the line. So Kentwood calls timeout. Jefferson. I have to go to school tomorrow. Uh, let's enjoy some of the fine open court work from the featured performer, Terrence Jones, nailing the three, attacking the rim. Remember, we compare him to a young Lamar Odom, the long and athletic lefty has put on a show. Yeah, 20.6 rebounds. He's dished out three assists and half points, only five in the second half. And he's one for four from the line and misses there. 
And our Old Spice player of the game, Terrence Jones. And Terrence Jones and company, they get the W.